Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in a very rainy Blackpool. Check out this rain, oh my goodness. It is torrential here in Blackpool this evening. We're just outside the Bellevue pub here on Whitegate Drive. Robbie Williams uh, filmed a video here, yeah. Advertising space, I believe it was. He also filmed in a, a working men's club as well uh, I think, was it the uh, was it the central club or something like that i don't know but this is whitegate drive it's around about oh what is it seven o'clock in the evening on a sunday just look at this rain it is absolute i tell you what i think we're going to get flooded i think that we could be in for flooding because it has been raining non-stop for about the past well since about probably two o'clock well, I've had to bring the brolly out for this video, yeah, because it's that, it is that wet. But yeah, I'm just starting off here at the uh, the Bellevue pub here on Whitegate Drive. Yeah, it looks quite fancy actually. I have been in a couple of times. Got some nice hanging baskets as well with nice petunias out there as well. So well done to the Bellevue for the display. What I want to do in this video is I want to take a walk down the street, which I haven't been down for a while. It's called Palatine Road. I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you. So you see over the road there where it says Domino's Pizza? Well that road over there is called Palatine Road and it leads east and west. It starts here and it ends up at Central Drive, yeah? So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Check this out, we've got a community notice board here, look at this. Someone's driving like as if it's a race truck. Talbot Ward. We're in the Talbot Ward here. I didn't realise that. I didn't know that this was the Talbot Ward. I thought it was Stanley Ward. You know Stanley Park? Because not too far away from Stanley Park. Say no to nice crime. We want you to be safe. Burglary causes misery to people, especially when your home is violated. Talbot Pack next meeting, Wednesday the 4th of September. At the Guards Club. I've been in the Guards Club. Anyway, that's already been past that one. So that's the notice board. That's what's going on in the Talbot ward. That road there is called Newcastle Avenue. Yeah, and that takes you down to Stanley Park. And uh, just over here, we've got some flashing lights. It's an ambulance. Uh, so Whitegate Drive is, uh, is, it's actually quite loud. Oh, the sirens are off. But it's an ambulance, don't worry. It's actually quite, uh, Whitegate Drive is actually quite a nice road. I'll wait for this siren to go off. <laughs> Doppler shift, Doppler shift. Ooh, got a little bit of Doppler shift there. You know, somebody asked me on the live stream, the fireworks live stream, what's the best pizza place in Blackpool? And to be honest, I haven't really got a clue. But you see that place over there, Soto Pizzeria. I would say that that's pretty good. I mean, it does look very fancy. They've got outdoor dining as well. I mean, won't be anybody eating outdoors today. <laughs> Not in this weather, but it does look pretty good. No pedal assist on that e-bike. Right, I'm going to head across the road because I want to head down that road over there, Palatine Road. I've not been down for a while. It's quite residential. It's also got hotels, guest houses, and it's also got a massive college building. So we'll check that out. It's, it's quite fancy, actually. I'll tell you what, I'm battling with this umbrella at the moment. It's not really that windy, but it's quite a big umbrella, this, yeah, and it's blowing about a bit. Anyway, this is Whitegate Drive, obviously, where we started. This is it's a fairly decent road, actually. But the other end of Palatine Road, where I'm walking now, is a little bit different. We're going to end up at Central Drive, and... Uh, it's uh, not quite a swanky central drive and uh, there's also the red light district at the other end as well so it's a little bit different from this side to the other side anyway let's carry on so i'm making my way up it actually goes up quite a bit of an incline actually palatine road i suppose you could call this palatine road east because it's the eastern side it's split into two halves by Park Road in the middle 
what's that we've got mostly terraced houses along here no trees unfortunately we do have trees on Whitegate Drive back there not as many as what they used to be Whitegate Drive used to have a lot of elm trees but of course they were a lot of those died off with the Dutch elm disease it looks like it might be one of those roads where it's quite difficult to park they do have residence only permit holders as you can see on the side but the only thing about that is if you ever have guests people visiting you uh, you need to have um, you need to give them a ticket don't you and if you're using your ticket for your car do you just have to get another one see that I wouldn't particularly like to live in an area that has residents only parking unless unless I had a driveway and as you can see quite a lot of houses down here don't have driveways so uh, there's a house for sale there Christy King if you're interested I want to check up on the price of that it's a mid terrace <coughs> we're not far away now from the big college building wait till you see this building here it's immense it's called Palatine the Palatine building I'm a bit confused really obviously it's called Palatine because it's on Palatine Road but I went to Palatine School and Palatine School is not on Palatine Road so I don't know why Palatine School was called Palatine School even though it was on um, St Anne's Road look at that doesn't it look amazing Art Deco that is one grand building isn't it it's now the University Centre Blackpool and the Fylde College wow it is an impressive building look at the ironwork as well the railings it absolutely dominates this side of the road and wait till you see the engines here the gates I don't think they use these gates here I don't think they use this entrance anymore but my goodness look at that I might be wrong just look at this I do like my Art Deco and I don't know I've, I've hardly ever featured this building before on the channel Blackpool Technical College is what it says up there I do like those gate posts aren't they impressive please note reception is located in the central hub so that's probably round the back so that would indicate that they don't use these gates or that door anymore because it's got a padlock on there look so there's a map of the place there I'm on that bit up there and you have to go in around there right around the back well, yeah there you go that is the old Blackpool Technical College building now part of the, uh, the University Centre it is a very very grand building isn't it got quite a few trees as well and bushes outside bit of greenery because there's not a whole lot of greenery down here you know and of course a lot of these buildings here a lot of these um, will be flats of course student flats you can always tell you can always tell because look at all the wheeler bins outside <laughs> look at it look at all these wheeler bins stood out so I, I don't like this look you know I don't like it at all I don't think it's a good look but what can you do it's just the way it is isn't it really So we'll just have a look at it from this side shall we let's have a look at it from this but look at that that is some building isn't it enroll now school leavers apprenticeships degrees adult courses there you go carry on 
plenty of wheelie bins. They've even got um, basements around here, you know. Yeah, they've got basements. They're pretty big buildings, these. They are. So there aren't really any hotels on this section, but there are going to be hotels on the next bit because we're about to cross a junction now, which is Park Road. And when we get onto the next section, we're going to start to see some hotels. So this road we're crossing now is called Park Road. I've always wondered why it's called Park Road because it's not near any park. And there's no trees on it either. There's no greenery or anything on Park Road. It's got this Art Deco block of flats on the corner. But they're not the most inviting looking flats if you ask me really. What do you think? It looks like someone started to paint them and then ran out of paint. What do you reckon? What do you think? So anyway, we're now on to Palatine Road. It's still called Palatine Road, but this is the western side now. The hotel over the road there, look. That van moves out of the way. The Filed International. AA Four Stars. There you go. Didn't take long to get to a hotel, did it? There must be flats over there. They're definitely flats because you can tell by all the doors. There's about 10 doorbells on one of them there. Ten, a row of 10 doorbells. Bit of work in progress as well. This one's called the Mayfair Hotel. So we get the hotels now. On the Palatine Road. As we head down towards the other end. It's Central Drive. That's quite an old looking building over there, isn't it? Look at that there, it's quite fancy that, isn't it? I dare say there'll be some Airbnbs down here as well. There's an apartment block over there called Nova. There's one here that says no vacancies, it doesn't look open. Le Papillon, bed and breakfast. This one's up for sale with Auction House. iGolf. Gaza's Place. Hotel Private Golf Club. Uh, how do you fit a golf course? <laughs> do they have a golf course around the back or something? Or is it like a... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you normally have a golf club at a golf hotel, don't you? Maybe it's a virtual golf. Maybe it's virtual. Bit of work in progress going on over there, as you can see. An Airbnb there, Holiday Plus. Yeah, lots of apartments. Quite a lot of apartments. Pebbles Guest House. Breeze. The rain isn't letting up. Getting close now to uh, oh, they're quite nice. Nice flowers there in the in the baskets. Over there we've got the Dun Roman. Dun Roman. We're getting very close now to the other side, and we're pretty much now at that what I was talking about before the red light area. So that road there on the left-hand side is called Livingston Road down there, down the side of the church, which is abandoned the chip well, it's called Christ Church with all saints and it's been empty for years such a shame isn't it to see these churches which were once had a full congregation every Sunday and nowadays they're just shut up and the area around it is not as 
not as nice as what it used to be. If you come here after dark, you'll probably see you'll probably see girls. It's not really a hotbed to be honest, Blackpool, you know, for for a red light district. It's only a very, very small area. It's only really this bit here and down to down. Oh, oh bloody hell! The, the wind almost took me umbrella off me then. Well, it looks like they're going to be doing something with that church. We'll maybe turn it into apartments or something. Let's have to wait and see, won't we? But yeah, uh, this is pretty much it. As for, well, like a, an unofficial red light district. I mean, we all know about Cookson Street. If you watch my videos, you'll know all about Cookson Street. Uh, a friend of mine used to own a hotel just along here. It was called the Broomcroft. I think it's been turned into an apart hotel. Yeah. There's that one just on the end here, the grey one here. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, that was his hotel there. It was called the Broomcroft Hotel. It now looks like it's an apart hotel. And uh, I remember Mr. G. Mr. G, the guy who lived next door. Well, he didn't live there, but he had a block of flats. He had this block of flats here next door. He had an electrician, electrics uh, company. Did he have a shop? I think he had a shop. Oh, look at that Blackpool Tower. Oh, and now we've got a car. But oh my goodness, I'm battling this rain, folks. I'm trying to keep it off my camera because uh, the camera I'm using is not waterproof. Well, we've got a car park here. I'll just show you around. A little bit of wall art going on here. Let's have a look there. There you go. Oh, Palatine Road car park. Minimum height, six foot three. I'll tell you what, that looks a lot lower than six foot three. I don't even think I'd get under that without ducking. My goodness. I've got some more wall art going on here but we've made it folks we've made it to the other side this is now central drive there's a guy talking very loudly on a phone here outside the sully grill and barbecue this is central drive and it is a bit of a contrast to where i started folks whitegate drive it is i have to say there's no doubt about it it's not quite as uh, not quite as upmarket as uh, Whitegate Drive. If you want to call Whitegate Drive upmarket. But anyway, there you go. Oh, I'm battling the wind and rain now, folks. Oh my goodness. This is Central Drive. Let's have a look at the tower, shall we? There you go. So I'm going to end it there now, folks. The rain is starting to get... The rain and wind is starting to get the better of me. We're just across the road from the cigarette waste art gallery that's where all the beer monsters hang out but only in the good weather there's no beer monsters out tonight i can tell you not in this weather i wonder where they all are um anyway that's it for this video i hope you like it if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one